So I did a live on Monday only because um, my la my com my camera's batteries um, ran out of juice. So here's the little weirdo today. She really likes to be petted. So if you guys you um, remember me talking about Zoe. She's a fluffy kitty at the farm. Um, she I mean, as soon as you pick her up, she starts purring. I know I've talked about her in, in other videos, probably. She was pregnant. She has had her babies. Um, I feel her stomach today, you know. Um, but Abby. Um, <laughs> no, she's awesome. She, um, just, you know, she doesn't have that big belly anymore. So she's had her babies. No, I do not know where or anything. Um, because of her small size, I would be shocked if she had more than two, actually. Um, I think she would only have one to two because of her size. She is tiny, like her mother. Her mother is a, is a tiny cat. I actually do not see her mother at all. I see her grandmother more. I actually did not see her grandmother this morning. Her grandmother is Twilight. I did not see Twilight or Twilight's children this morning, which is rare, but you know, whatever. Um, I did not see Annabelle or her children this morning, which is not rare. I usually don't see them anyways. Um, which is fine. I should be spaghetti tonight, so I gotta get my water to be hot so that I can thaw the goat meat for me. I'm going to make spaghetti with goat. Um, if you've never had goat meat, it actually tastes pretty similar to beef, actually. Um, and don't worry, I was skeptical at first to have goat. It's not something I grew up on. So. Ground goat meat, just like this. Um, we get it Dove Song Dairy. Uh, we are Burnville. High outside of Burnville. So if you're looking for goat meat and you don't know where to get it, Dove Song Dairy, um, out um, right in between Bloomville and Marysburg is a really um, great place to get it. We get our goat milk there, we get goat meat there, they have some soups, um, I've never really gotten anything there I didn't like so far, so. They had duck meat. David has never had duck that he can remember. I don't personally like duck. Um, I'm one of those people who I like um, the white meat of the turkey, the drier meat. I don't like the dark meat. To me, dark meat with turkey and any kind of animal, even chicken, um, tastes greasy to me I don't like that um basically I don't like chicken legs I prefer chicken breasts I don't like turkey legs I prefer turkey breasts um because I don't like dark meat I've never liked dark meat my husband likes dark meat he says it's more juicy I say it's more greasy I I you know I've I've tasted it I've eaten it I don't like it it tastes greasy to me and I don't like that taste. I don't like that filling in my mouth of greasy food. Um, even though I eat some greasy food. <laughs> but I don't like the, the taste or the texture of the greasy meat that I would get in my um, that in my food. So um, on Thanksgiving, he likes to get the dark meat. I prefer the white meat of the turkey at his brother's house. Um, 
So duck is mostly dark meat. Even its breast has some dark meat. So I'm not a big fan of that because it's dark meat and I do not like dark meat. So um, either tomorrow or Friday I will be filming a recipe. It is going to be a bag recipe. And what I mean is it's going to be a bag recipe. I'm going to be making chocolate chip gluten free muffins. Um, I brought home some grapes today from my dad's house, um, because he wanted to get some out of his house so they didn't go bad. And so I brought some home for David. They're, the purple grapes. I don't like the purple grapes. I prefer the green grapes. And so, um, I told my, um, so I, my dad left me a note to take some grapes, um, because he knew I was going to go over his house. Um, um, I'm loading and reloading his dishwasher right now um, until my brother gets better and kind of straight enough a room at a time to kind of get things looking nice and stuff. Um, so my dad is at the hostel every day right now with my brother. Um, Bran is getting better. They, they, I don't know if they moved him yet, but they did say that as soon as the room was available he would move to a regular room. So I'm hoping that happened last night, but, you know, it's whenever they have a bed available, you know, availability, that's what it's like at the hospital. Um, as far as I know, he's doing, um, better, according to my dad. Um, they're doing testing to find out why he got blood clots, um, because my brother does not sit around all day. He is up doing things. He mows. He cleans the house. He does laundry, dishes. You know, he does sit down at some point, but no one can stand up all day. If you have a job where you're standing up all day, God bless you. I can't do that. My lower back right now is screaming at me because... I was probably in the car all morning. Um, I went to go get some things at Dutchway. I went to JDM. I, yeah, I was all over the place. Um, but my lower back is screaming right now because I'm not sitting down. My lower back gets very painful if it's in a position it doesn't like for very long. Um, but yeah, so I am working on doing more in my day because my brother got blood clots and I'm stationary a lot more than he is and that is how you get blood clots people I'm telling you that is what they say um but I am just so grateful that we found them and that he's not um that he's feeling better um Tomorrow is going to be a really emotional day for me. Um, I already know it. Thursday and Friday are very emotional this week. Because um, those are the two days um, that were the last time that I saw my brother before he went into the hospital. So, um, I don't, unless I'm sick with like a cold or when I had COVID or if I have my period. Other than that, I don't go a week at a time without seeing my brother. Me and my brother are very close. We're two and a half years apart in age and we're very close. We're, we're basically each other's best friends. Not saying we don't fight, because we do sometimes, but we are each other's best friends. And it'll be a week since I've seen him. I don't get, I haven't seen him, um, I, I won't go to my hostel by myself, that's just not something I would do, um, so yeah. So I'm really, I'm a little upset, I don't really know what to accept when he gets home, but, um, I'm going to be really happy when he gets home. Uh, we don't know when he's getting home, but I'm going to be really, really happy when he gets home. 
So until then, <laughs> um, but I will either be, um, well, if you've seen this video, either the recipe will be attached in the comments or I'll be doing the recipe on. So either every Friday I'll post a recipe or every Friday I'll do a recipe. It will just kind of depend on how my week is and how I'm feeling and stuff. But right now I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I have stuff that I want to get done today. It's about 11 o'clock and I'm starving. I did not, I had one orange and one pack of fruit snacks for breakfast. So I'm starving right now. So I'm going to get some lunch and watch, finish this episode of Castle and then hopefully the next disc works. <laughs> And I can work on getting laundry put away upstairs. I gotta check the stuff on the drying rack. Right here. See what's dry. There's Azzy. Can't really see her because she's a dark color and it's dark on the stairs. I do have the heat on 73 in here because I was cold. So, yes, you know. She wants treats. She's not getting treats at this exact moment in time. I tried to get them treats in the afternoon. Yesterday they had their greenies, which are non-training. Non-training treats. Today she's going to get training treats, temptations, which means uh, she'll be seeing how much of her training she remembers. And this little girl does some training too. But not the ambassador anymore. <laughs> uh, we decided to let her live out her life as a kitty, not have all that ambassador crap. This wasn't going to be working out for me. So, I hope you guys all have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.